Hey, what's up, friends? This is Arun, and uh, welcome to my channel for discussion. We have started a new series, and uh, I, I'm sure you will not get this type of work in Photoshop uh, like video manipulation. I have started this tutorial and this started this series for especially for you guys. Um, every time I get uh, new ideas, and uh, I always think what I can do new things for you. So these are the new things, new series I have started for you, especially for you all guys. So uh, here is the video manipulation. Um, so it's it's very very easy and uh, if you have the very uh, uh, clarity in all these things uh, like matching and coloring and lighting then you can easily do uh, load many more things with the Photoshop so uh, I will I will show you how I edit this video firstly mm -hmm. so these are the two clips and I will show you final output of this video manipulation now see this this is my final output of this project you can see there and uh, what I have to what I have did in this I have changed the background of this of this original clip with this uh, this tree background you can see now the original clip it is not very attractive now see that so it is not very attractive and I have changed it to this so it is very easy in Photoshop CC so let's see how to get this type of work with Photoshop CC so firstly take a new document and uh, go to file then click on new and I want width 1366 height 768 and uh, this is very near to 16 by 9 ratio and this is the ratio this is best for youtube videos so i want this ratio uh, now click on ok now you have this uh, white background now this is the video uh, i will drag it to my project in photoshop so so this is the video and uh, you can make it large by moving these points and click on ok mm now double click on there if you are not getting the timeline now click on ok a new file will open now close this file now you have this timeline for your original project now click on this create video timeline then you will get the timeline ok that's fine so this is the background I want to use it this background I want to use uh, so firstly make it large so that um, that's fine Okay, now click on OK uh, you can move this working area by dragging this line so you can adjust your working area okay that's fine and we have three layers background this video and this still image okay now I will firstly uh, where it is uh, okay now reduce the opacity so that I can adjust where it can be fit okay that's fine okay this uh, okay so this is the starting point of this video uh, uh, firstly see the video now this person is coming walking on this road and uh, coming nearby to the camera now here my aim is to change the background in this video so it's really easy and uh, very easy to blend it using photoshop mm, okay mm. now make a mask on this on this video uh, firstly take your starting point of this person uh, so this is my starting point and uh, i want to make a mask so that i can reveal the part of this background okay now this is your mask uh, you can check my tutorial on mask especially uh, if you have this uh, white mask then it is mandatory that uh, you have the black black color then apply this brush having this black color now you will get this okay that's fine that's really fine okay mm. now reduce the opacity so that I can easily blend it with the background okay, that's cool that's very nice 
Now it is, I think, a very nice result I have. We are getting. Okay. Now see this firstly. Uh, otherwise, the background was very boring for this video. Now check it. Uh, this image is working better because the aspect uh, you can see uh, the angle of this still image and this video is wide angle the angle of both image and video is same it is wide angle okay now i think we have uh, okay that's very fine okay that's cool okay now see this before and after now um, I will check this video okay I can drag this uh, wallpaper layer now it is not working at this area so you can make it large by stretching this working area so here is the working area uh, this is my working area 8 second is the length of the clip okay mm that's fine now firstly check it how the video is working so that we can easily um, okay I think some area from this uh, that's fine I think okay I have to work on this this area now select this mask and uh, choose your brush Control, uh, sorry X X to exchange the color okay now I will blend the color of this background as well as this video now go to this um, adjustment panel mm, I will start from this hue and saturation mm, hue and saturation and I want to clip uh, I want to clip this saturation hue and saturation to this uh, video only right click on there create clipping mask I want orange shade for this video mm, oh, now we are getting this okay now you can see this before and after before and after now the the background has been blended very easily very nicely okay other effect I want to put it uh, to make it more dramatic so um, make a new layer choose your black brush I want uh, something like igniting black black brush and apply this brush and having opacity you can say something like this okay that's fine cool um, you can reduce the opacity see that before and after very nice result okay mm, now more effect I want to add now make a new layer under this vignetting uh, this time I will choose this orange shade color so that I can make a light nice light behind this okay now set its plan mode to screen I will try fit this for okay I think screen is working better okay that's fine cool mm, reduce the opacity okay mm, that's fine oh, very nice result we are getting okay mm, one thing now go to this adjustment panel then uh, gradient in gradient I want this uh, I will try one by one okay I will try this set its plan mode to screen mm. soft light now you can change it if you are not satisfied with this uh, gradient okay mm. I think uh, this is also nice okay mm okay that's fine now 
now i will check the video firstly now one thing you can see there the length of this timeline of these three layers are not matching with the actual length of the clip uh, so drag it and make it stretch to its second similarly here similarly here now we will get the same effect for your for our eight second clip now i want to play it okay mm, that's cool okay now last thing i want to do is uh, go to levels now i will put more contrast in the image okay okay that's fine go to blue channel i want okay now see that before and after now again go to gradient mm. okay cancel it uh, make a new layer choose your brush a very large brush control z okay now reduce the opacity now see that now we are ready with this clip only this effect i want okay that's fine now you can render it go to this options now this render video now you have the options to make it render i want this setting format h.264 and this is best for preset for youtube if you want to upload it on youtube mm. in preset uh, i think uh, this is the best best resolution for this uh, now click on render the video will be rendered so thank you friends keep watching our inscription